place? Uh, for me, it was a political um, decision. Uh, I think that um, this tool provided me with the opportunity to go and do something that I thought was my duty. I mean, I'm, I was I am a political refugee from Chile, and during the dark times I, that we felt that we were on our own, the international community made us feel that we weren't alone and that they were, we were being ignored. So I wanted to provide that type of um, message to the Palestinians. Martin. I think it was, it's been an important issue for me for a while, but before going, it was somewhat abstract and I was very confused and, and had uh, different kind of images and stories and so on and always felt rather uncertain about speaking up with the idea that people could say, well, you know, you haven't been there, what do you know? And going and encountering the, the situation that people are facing day by day by day on the ground in, in so many different respects, in different parts of Palestine and Israel, um, now I feel very confident. And it's, you know, it's the friends of Zionism who actually haven't been there, who haven't seen and don't know. So, well, I felt that the tour gave me an unrivaled political analysis that you simply don't get with other with other tours. I remember particularly being in the Bethlehem Women's Centre, passing around mint tea, seeing the wall and asking the young women who were there, how did they get to work? And they said, we climb under the wall. I said, how do you climb under the wall? Through the sewers. How can you imagine? Can you imagine the smell? What kind of emotional impact did the tour make on you? I personally, I mean, I felt, well, I had to go back to Britain and I had to do something. This is not just something to come and see and, and feel sorry about. And I need to do something to change the situation. And so I don't really think anybody that goes in this sort of tour there will come back without the same sort of feeling. Martin. It's distressing, but it's very supported, and um, you have very clearly received the message of, of people's appreciation that you're there, um, and also sustained by people's expectation that we have a responsibility. You know, to be told by Palestinians, you have a responsibility, you know, because this is actually, we are all part of this, we've contributed to it. So it's, uh, it's, it's not easy, but it's possible, and one gains solidarity with other people.